Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, then please like and subscribe. Bell, notify yourself. Come on back and see me again. And if you've been here before, well, thank you so much for coming back. If you're not subscribed, <laughs> please subscribe. I have for you the most important accessory that you could possibly ever need to get if you own a Mac Mini, whether it's the new 2020 Mac Mini with the M1 chip or one of the older Intel models. What is this thing, Jason? The human-centric USB-C hub for the Mac Mini. It says compatible with 2018-2020 Mac Mini models. That's hard to say, Mac Mini models, Mac Mini. Blah, blah, blah. So what is it? As I said, you look here at the box and you see that here's a Mac Mini sitting on top and underneath is this thing that looks like part of the Mac Mini. Uh, well, at least if the Mac Mini is space gray. If it's not space gray, then... But even though the new Mac Mini is not space gray, this still works perfectly for it. And I'm going to tell you why it is the thing that you need to buy when you buy a Mac Mini. The new Mac Minis, they've had some ports taken away. They've had, you know, it's so they're not as full featured as the old Mac Minis. And so let's check this out. First, on top, it just says human centric, like so. And then around the front, we've got two USB 2 ports and two USB three ports, as well as an SD card and a micro SD card reader. For somebody who's doing video and the, none of the Macs have these readers anymore, that's pretty important. And so far it's worked really well for me in the few times that I've used it. How do you plug it in, Jason? You might be asking. Well, the answer is you plug it in via USB-C to one of the USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 3 ports on the back of your Mac Mini. Like I said, you've got these ports on the front that, you know, expand your port selection. But then on the back, we get something very special. What is it, you might say, Jason? Well, I'll tell you. Underneath these little screws here, we have something special. Underneath these little screws, we have a SATA port for you to put a SSD of some kind in there. Right now, I just had this 240 gig SanDisk sitting around, and so I'm just using it to test it out. Works perfectly. Uh, I do have an M.2 drive. This will accept M.2. So I have an M.2 drive that I'm gonna put into a, a casing, and then I'm gonna put that in there. And all of a sudden, this goes from being like some extra ports to potentially two terabytes more storage on your Mac mini without having to like put an ex external hard drive on there or anything like that. I mean, this would be an external hard drive, but it fits right in with the machine itself. I can't tell you how much more usable that makes the Mac mini. The Mac mini, they did cut it down to two USB ports and two USB four slash Thunderbolt three ports. And that's a bummer. But when you can get a bunch of USB ports plus the SD card reader slot plus a hard drive inside and these things like you can get two terabytes for yeah i think anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars uh one terabyte is usually like 99 dollars now so if you got a one terabyte machine like i did you could get a one terabyte drive stick it in there and you've doubled your storage so i really don't think it's totally unassuming it just looks like part of your mac mini except it's space gray and only comes in space gray right now however that being said it is still <laughs> an incredible little thing. You can get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description below because if you've got a Mac mini, you do not want to have the Mac mini without this guy. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Kind of a quick video getting it done. Just wanted to tell you guys about this because I was surprised that this existed. And now that I know that it exists, I want to let you, the painfully honest faithful, know as well because this thing is a game changer. It, it, and you don't have to use it with a Mac mini. You could use it as just like a thing sitting on a shelf on a shelf or your desk or whatever and uh mouse pad maybe <laughs> you can plug it into any mac that has a thunderbolt 3 port build quality wise it's it's pretty good this is all aluminium as they say and uh it's not heavy or anything it's it's not super like tank like you couldn't knock anybody out with this but it is solid it does look good it does provide a ton of utility without sort of messing up your look at all. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments, what questions you have, we'll talk, we'll mingle down there and have a boisterous discussion, okay? Once again, thanks so much for being here. If you are interested, you can subscribe, join, like. Uh, there's also some merch down there. 
as well as links to this guy in the description. So hit that up and hit me up in the comments below. Again, my name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, check me out down in the description. Talk to me in the comments and I am out.